just praying it's nothing, guys. Honestly. It's been a crazy day. It's been a crazy weekend, actually. <laughs> sorry about my hair but it's been a rough night really really hard I didn't sleep properly Harry has been really hot I just took his temperature just 39.8 and I'm really concerned just gave him for sit tomorrow and if it doesn't go down I'm gonna have to call someone or maybe take him to the walking sentry so they can see I don't know guys he's been breastfeeding a lot which is really good for his condition I remember the doctor yesterday he said Lots and lots of fluids are good, but I don't know, it just makes me so mad he, that he didn't like examine him properly. Just because he was leaving, I mean, he didn't see him properly, he didn't give anything other than, oh, he has a fever, just give him paracetamol. The only say about paracetamol in he makes me so mad. Anyways, I just want Harry Bear to get better, guys. I don't want him to see him like this, being so down, like breastfeeding, breastfeeding the whole night. Now he's just yourself, you can definitely see. Ben is downstairs with him in the bedroom, but they're coming up here. Just, I don't know, I don't even know how I'm gonna finish up the vlog. I didn't edit almost anything yesterday. It's now half eight and I gave him paracetamol like 25, 20 minutes ago. So I'm gonna wait about half an hour to see if fever goes down or not. If it doesn't, we'll have to see about that because it's too dangerous to get a fever close to 40 degrees, especially for a baby. Someone's starting to feel a bit better. I think his fever got down, guys. I haven't checked yet, but you can see that he's good spirits, trying to play, trying to get, oh my God, he got a nice. <laughs> trying to get in everything. That means that he's a bit better. So mommy's not even mad at him, mommy's like, just let him play and hold him so he doesn't like fall down or anything but I'm glad he seems a bit better guys we just finishing up the vlog and then we eat something let's see if you're gonna eat my baby <laughs> finally got baby back to sleep oh my gosh he's so tired guys but the morning was pretty quiet The morning was pretty quiet. I was just cuddling Harry. Shh, 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 shh. Just cuddling Harry. I finished the vlog and also I did something very important that I should have done a while ago, but I finally transferred pictures and videos from this past month to the computer so I can open a lot of space on my phone because it's pretty full. And now I'm gonna see if Harry keeps sleeping so I can cook lunch and leave everything ready because about an hour I gotta give him another dose of paracetamol. I'm gonna check his temperature. The way his fever got a lot lower this morning, you could definitely see about two hours after I gave him paracetamol this morning. Let's just pray and hope it doesn't go up again because otherwise I'm gonna have to call 111 or maybe take him to a walking sentry. I don't know. I haven't vlogged in a while, but Harry's been really down. His fever is gonna open down. And I think it got a bit better now because I gave him the paracetamol about an hour, almost two hours ago. So it's always like that. He has a really high fever. He had about 39.3 the last time that I took. And then I gave him the paracetamol. And then a couple of hours later, his fever lowers down. He gets a bit better. And then goes up again when it's close to the time that I need to give him the paracetamol again. So anyways, I end up calling the 111 and they direct me to another clinic, like an out of hours GP or something like that. They just gave me a call back and apparently they're gonna see Harry's too today. I think they're a bit worried about his cough and his high temperature. So I was just watching a movie and eating something and he's been sleeping on my lap. Being so down, guys. I just want to see baby better. But anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get ready by the time they call because she said that he definitely needs to be seen by a doctor today. Hopefully he'll be all right. They'll give him, I don't know, another antibiotics. Didn't even know what it is. His symptoms are so weird. Baby. Hey, hey, are you waking up? We are on our way to the walking center. Oh my God, we made it. I didn't think we were gonna make it, honestly. We still got about two minutes for the appointment. Hair is quite warm still. Hopefully, they will be able to help, see what it is. I don't know, guys, I'm just so worried about him. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to put the vlog up tomorrow or if it's gonna be like a weekend vlog and put it up all on, on Monday. Baby, hey, do you like to tell my son how you are? He loves to be eating stuff, guys. Okay?
so creepy. There's no one in here, literally. Just us. Okay, guys, we just left the doctor's office and she was really nice. She said that he has a bit of a, like a red and swollen tonsil, but it's not like red enough or swollen enough to prescribe antibiotics. And she also said that there's something on his, I think, right or left ear. I don't know. Anyway, she said both of these things, it's not enough for her to prescribe antibiotics today. And she said to keep an eye on him, see if the fever is gonna go down or not. She prescribed ibuprofen to give in between the paracetamol doses. And if the fever still doesn't go down and still spikes up to like 39 and 40, to give a call back again tomorrow because then she can see if the tonsils developed something else anyway just gonna get harry's ibuprofen with the prescription i'm here next to a tesco a big tesco of course it's gonna be next to a supermarket guys just because i ordered everything online yesterday so i'm gonna go to tesco get harry's medicine then i think i'm gonna go home i don't know if ben passes through here to go home or not i'm tired guys harry bear is still quite sick but he didn't have any fever now, I think he had like just a tiny bit like 37.7 Anyways, let's hope and pray it doesn't go up again guys So we don't need to come back here and then baby you can stay home It does go Apparently he got her medicine and of course he's breastfeeding Poor baby He's still a bit fussy I'm so tired Finally leaving Tesco, just waiting for a taxi See you guys at home <laughs> Haven't vlogged in a while but We've been home for a while and Ben actually got home as well and we've been trying to find something to watch on Netflix which is always, always, always a mess. There's always so many options but That's at the same time... So just mm. choose the one that's on your list. No, you I don't. That. You put that on my list. You put that on your list. Oh my god, he put movies on my list and now he says you that I chose that. it. It wasn't me. Anyway, he just gave Harry his paracetamol. He doesn't have a really high fever yet, which is really good. The last time that I checked was 38.9, I think. We're gonna eat something, gonna eat some pizza that I bought in Tesco, and gonna watch a movie. Hey! Someone's quite fussy now. Good morning, guys! Wow, happy Sunday! We got out of the bed about an hour ago, I think. But it was such a good night, guys. I'm so happy, Harry. Didn't have any fever this night. Mm. I think the ibuprofen is really helping. I'm supposed to give you ibuprofen three times a day and then keep the paracetamol four times a day. And I don't think I'm gonna need to go back to the walking center today. I'm so happy. I'm just so good. Oh, he's so cute, guys. Look at that. He even pooped today. He hadn't pooped in maybe three days, I think. But anyway, so even pooped. He didn't have a fever. I hope he eats today because that would mean that he's a lot better. I mean, eat the way that he eats. Like, he doesn't want much food. He wants more like biscuits or cereal. But that means that he's getting better. Mommy's so happy. He's like, get up, mom. Just wanna watch little baby bun. Look at that, guys. Isn't he the sweetest baby ever? I'm just so happy, guys. Oh my god. So, Ben just went to work. It's a really sunny day, but of course, I'm staying in, not gonna go anywhere. But we have a lot to do today. The first thing that I did when I woke up actually was just sweep the room and vacuum the room and the kitchen. And I really need to organize the kitchen. The kitchen's a mess, but I'm not gonna do that now. And like I've said yesterday, I'm not gonna post a vlog like Sunday because I wanna concentrate on taking care. Harry even though he's a lot better is of course not a hundred percent so there's only gonna be one vlog tomorrow Monday it's gonna be a weekend vlog just being so lazy I gotta get us breakfast and then I'm gonna try to tidy these <laughs> big pile of clothes and then start tidying the kitchen because Tesco is gonna get delivered they did send a tax this morning it's gonna be between 12 and 1 after Tesco deliver everything I need to start cooking for tomorrow the winter weight loss challenge starts tomorrow guys I'm so excited we even gonna eat some pizza today to like just say goodbye to pizza for a really long time so I'm really excited I'm really anxious I don't know how it's gonna be but we're gonna be able to do it right Harry and Ben's gonna be eating healthy with me I don't know if it's gonna follow like a hundred percent but I already told him no coke, no soda, no biscuit, nothing like that is gonna come into this house during this period until Christmas. So let's start the day, guys. Can you give me my this wonder? The most beautiful baby in the world. Guys, he's so much better. I'm just so happy. He's just walking around everywhere, playing. Playing your mama. Oh my god guys, Harry is scared the hell out of me now. Started shaking and shivering as soon as I changed his nappy. Like really shaking and he never did that. Didn't know what to do so I called 111 again and apparently they're gonna call, someone's gonna call me back to see if they need to come here or I don't know. He stopped a bit now. He's just like shivering a bit. 
but he was kind of like falling asleep and then he woke up i don't know what's normal guys i don't know why he was so much better you can't see now he stopped a bit but he was just like shivering kind of like this you know oh my god oh my god baby please just praying it's nothing guys honestly We are on the waiting room, by the way. Hey, hey, don't. <sighs> Just got home now, guys. And oh my god, what a day so far. It's now 2 p.m. And I feel like the day is already ending. It happened so much. Hi. Do you want to say hi, guys? I'm feeling a lot better. Oh god guys, the waiting in the hospital was so big. Oh my god, I felt like we're never gonna get seen by a doctor. So I'm gonna try to explain really fast what happened because I honestly, I need to take a shower, I need to give Harry a bath. We are all like smelling like vomit and just, uh, and I'm so hungry. I was just so worried that I was not even hungry before, but now that everything's settled down a bit, I feel like I'm starving. So what happened is that Harry, like I told you guys, he was feeling a lot better. He was playing, he was active. He was like walking around everything this morning and then I gave him some breakfast. I made some scrambled eggs with some tortilla bread, which he loved. He was even eating some, ne baby, with some water. And then, I don't know if I mentioned this in the vlog before, but he was with a bit of a diarrhea and I was changing his nappies for the third time, I think, when he started like shivering and shaking and he just wouldn't stop shaking. He just wouldn't stop. He was like this, kind of like this. It got me very worried because it, that had never happened before, he never did that, but he was not like unresponsive, he was not like talking, but he was like looking at me, I could see that he was like seeing me and everything, but even so I called 111 because I didn't know what to do, I mean that had never happened before, he looked really pale as well. Anyways, they sent an ambulance in here and exactly the time that I went downstairs to open the door, for the paramedic is Harry just threw up all over me, like all over me, my hair, oh my god, everything smells guys, oh my god, he threw up all the eggs, I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat, eat eggs for at least a couple of days because honestly I smell like vomit and egg, oh. So they came up here and I was with vomit all over me and they checked on Harry and I told them what happened and they said it could be a seizure or they didn't know if it was like serious or not, but it looked more like a virus infection. But just to be on the safe side, they would take us to the hospital. That would happen, and that's when Harry rode in an ambulance for the first time. What did you think, Harry? I was with him on the back, of course, and he was like breastfeeding. He even fell asleep, which made me a lot better because I knew that he was like resting, which he obviously needed. But it was so funny because Harry's first time in an ambulance. And of course I was worried, but I was happy that they didn't seem to think it was nothing like too big. They even asked me if I really wanted to go to hospital or not. I'd much rather go and like play safe like we did than just stay home and then be something more serious. And now I have a peace of mind because the doctor said it is really a virus infection. He said it was probably something that he caught up after his chest infection that he was in antibiotics. After the chest infection, he caught this virus infection and that's why he like didn't seem to get better or he was like going up and down or like better and worse, better and worse. And look at that, it's such a cute. He's so much better now, guys. I can even express how happy I am, how relieved I am to see him walking and just playing. He wouldn't stop in the hospital, guys. Honestly, he wouldn't stop. The doctor was telling me his, her diagnosis and everything while Harry was crawling and walking around. Hi, baby. So, Dada. So, she listened to his heart, to his lungs, and checked everything. And he said his chest was perfect, everything was fine. It was just like his throat and his ear, I think it was a bit red. But he's, she said it is really common when you have a virus infection. The best thing to do that she said is just like to wait fast. She said cough might last for several weeks and he still can have a fever. But just watch out to see if he still gets shaking again. How he responds, if he gets unresponsive, that's, my, that's a lot more dangerous to call ambulance again. 
and you can call them at any time if you think that he's unwell again or anything like different or they look more serious so just watch out for his symptoms and that he can have a fever and that we don't need to give paracetamol and an ibuprofen every six or eight hours like religiously she said that we should give only if we think that he's like unwell if he's seeing like down or if he has a high fever or something like that honestly i know it was a lot of trouble a lot of trouble but i feel much more relieved to see him playing like his usual self his crazy self i just feel so tired so now i'm gonna take a shower give harry a bath gonna clean up all this vomit thing i got some of the clothes that i was wearing i didn't even put away it's all in there my coat and everything so i gotta put all of these on the washing machine already I'm gonna take a shower give harry a bath i'm gonna eat something oh she also said to give him plenty plenty of fluids especially juice and breast milk and don't worry if he doesn't want to eat or anything like that hopefully harry will get better guys i just pray and hoping he will get better soon and I'm sorry if I talk too much, I just want to give you guys an update because I know a lot of other people may go through the same thing so that can be helpful I know I always feel a bit better when I check like the symptoms with someone else Harry, let's get you changed, let's take a shower with mommy let's wash this pretty pretty hair hey! we are talking with Dada and Nana on the way home we did like a call, the three of us on WhatsApp and Harry was seeing them Nana no more, Nana's traveling but she was talking to you, daddy's at work, he's so worried with you as well, everyone baby. Okay guys, let's take a shower, come on baby, let's go. Guys, so I haven't vlogged in a while but the craziest thing just happened, I was on the phone for a long time with Tesco to see if they're gonna be able to deliver my order tonight or not because they were supposed to deliver this morning when we were in the hospital anyways he said it's not gonna be possible to deliver today and that there's gonna get a full refund in three to five days so it's kind of really bummed because I really wanted like to do the recipes and everything which I'll get to it by the way but I'm not gonna be able to start the challenge tomorrow because there's no way that I can cook tonight I'm so tired I can't even think I even took a paracetamol because I have a strong headache I thought they're only gonna be able to here you come hey look who's here <laughs> so i thought that i was gonna have to wait until we get a refund to order or maybe order tomorrow i don't know i don't know what is gonna happen if we're gonna be able to deliver through today but i don't know where someone ring our intercon and i went outside to check and it was tesco with all our shopping which is crazy but it's a good crazy you know i'm just glad that we got all the shoppings and there's some stuff that they didn't have like bananas how could taste gonna have bananas anyways i'm just glad that they deliver a thing today i just need to double check that everything's in here just really happy guys at least you got more good news than hey <coughs> this little guy is a lot better he didn't have any fever today and the last time that he took any medicine was in the morning so that's really good i'm really glad anyways guys it's been a crazy day it's been a crazy weekend actually such a crazy weekend i'm just glad that everything seems to be kind of like falling into place and harry is a lot better than me one more hi baby hi look at this smile guys cutest baby in the world and Ben should be getting home any minute by the way Tata, this is Tata Daddy's home <laughs> ready to be good and this is everything that I just got from Tesco I'm gonna go with all of these now and maybe today and maybe I'll do a haul tomorrow it all depends on how hairy is and what time I finish the vlog, guys. But I'll do my best. But there's a lot of good stuff. And I'll be able to start my challenge on Tuesday. Not gonna be Monday, but done is better than perfect. That's my motto, guys, for everything, honestly. Done is better than perfect, always. Hey! What are you, are you doing? Hi! How are you feeling, Harry? Yeah. My constellation! Hey! Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> no, mommy said no. Do you wanna play with the paper, Harry? No. Uh -huh. See you later. It was midnight and you're finally gonna go to bed. I was actually falling asleep. We were watching a movie and then we got to be the friends. We ate some pizza. We are eating the leftovers of the craft food that we had in the house because I'm not gonna start the challenge tomorrow because there's a lot to cook like I said before but I'm definitely gonna start the challenge on Tuesday so I'm really excited about that I'm gonna cook a lot of things tomorrow hopefully we have a smooth and quiet night Harry actually is a lot better we didn't give any more to paracetamol to him and we didn't check but he definitely doesn't have fever anyways guys I'm falling asleep I'm really tired
I just got my glass of water and I'm gonna go downstairs to the bedroom. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you for the prayers. A lot of people text me about Harry. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Night night, guys. Mm -hmm.